Hey YouTube, Ryan here. Just wanted to do a, do a quick video. It's around seven something in the morning, uh, Thursday. And I am uh, dealing with a, another problem. I came out to the trailer yesterday. Went to go finish up a uh, job and completely flat. I went to go and uh, I went to go and uh, air it up and a lot of air is coming out as if it has like a slice or something. So we'll take a look. Uh, see exactly, I don't know, hopefully nobody cut the tire, but it does sound like it's that big. Um, but I got a spare tube that I keep on hand. Um, I'm just going to kind of make a quick video showing how I uh, take everything apart and put it back on. So to begin the whole process, I got to take the whole mower off of the back. Just kind of roll it off onto the ramps and then that's where we'll leave it. Um, see if I can get a good angle. Okay, so now that I have at least at the ramps, I can take this pin. Go ahead and set it there on the mower. Um, it's gonna get dirty, so you're gonna wanna get some gloves. Okay, so once you got your gloves on, uh, this is pretty greasy, so, but it should come off since it's pretty greasy just by hand. Okay, so now that that's off, sometimes it's easier to just take a brick or something, stick it underneath this mowing deck. Um, the reason for that is just to kind of prop it up a little bit. So. Now we got a little bit of a gap. This tire should come off. Just uh, go ahead and turn on that. Okay, so put the brick underneath. Now there's a gap, so this is actually free. I put on this so it loosens up the belt on the tire. Get the belt off of the tire. Okay, make sure it's loosened. Sometimes you gotta push the handle. Okay, so after you have the tire off by squeezing the handle, loosening the belt, um, it should just come off straight off. After it's off, you'll see this is the part you have to protect on the back end of it. So I'm gonna get my piece of wood. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this right here. You'll see why, because I have to push down on this the entire time while trying to get the uh, tire out so uh, it's going to be a little bit more difficult because as you can see the uh, stem fell out a little bit so I'm going to try to grab the stem with my fingers I'm going to put my other glove on and I'll show you how it works okay, this process is a pain in the ass sometimes you need pliers what I do is I push it down on my knees one side like this grab that Ooh, it was the stem. It broke right out the stem. Which is crap. These tubes are crappy. It also means we can't pull it out by the thing that I usually use. So, we'll just push down one side to free it up. With two knees and grab one side. 
All right, now spin it, do the same thing. And do it again. See where the stem just broke right off. Crappy is that. Take another one. Put that in there. We're gonna do pretty much the same thing. Only we want to make sure the stem's on this side. So we're gonna load it in a bit at a time. We'll slow it in the stem first. Put the stem towards us. Push it down. Stem in, push in the extra. Okay. Turn, push in the extra. Go all the way around doing the same thing. Okay, so now that everything's back on, I just need to put on the tire before even airing up or else it won't go back on. And then just put everything back in order and then just air it all up. Should be good to go. Just do everything in reverse.